Hi, and welcome to this multi-part video series called PhoneWrite. My name is David Anthony. Now, if this is your first time here, welcome, and do consider subscribing, because this channel is all about helping you go further and faster in business and in life. So let's get started. So whether this is your first or 101st time through the program, welcome to it. Here's Paul Dunn. Hi. You know, it is truly amazing to see just how many profitable sales opportunities many businesses miss each day. The good news is that this program is going to have you creating opportunities, not wasting them. You see, the truth is that those first few seconds a potential customer spends on the phone with you and your company are critical. It's not an exaggeration to say that your telephone really is your shop window. You can choose to dress it attractively and make those potential customers feel special. Or you can dress it unattractively and turn them off. And that's just as a direct result of what they heard in those first four seconds. But sometimes, of course, a potential customer hears this. So if you were the customer in this situation, what would you do? Well, you might dial again, but this time you'll dial a competitor's number. And if you're treated correctly, you'll buy from them. Because they had a better range, because they had better quality products, because their prices were lower? No. Simply because the first company you called treated you with ignore on the telephone. So like we said, those first few seconds are critical. And the good news is that you're going to discover some superb ways of making sure your potential customers do get greeted correctly in those first few seconds. You'll discover much more than that too. For instance, when you put into practice all the ideas we'll be sharing with you here, never again will your accounting department answer their phone this way. Accounts. Or... Credit control. And never again will the boss, let's say his name is Frank Williams, never again will he answer his phone like this. Williams. You see, if this guy Frank Williams were to meet you in the street, it's highly unlikely that he'd come up to you face to face and say, Williams. Well, at least I hope not. So why on earth do we do these things on the phone? Quite simply because we've never been trained to use this powerful instrument in precisely the right way. And maybe until now, we've never realized just how crucial the phone is. I hope you got a lot of value today. If you did, click the like button. What that does is help us build our non-profit business school, UBLA. Check out in the description below to find out more about what we're doing and how you can help. This is part of a multi-part series, so keep your eye out for the next video. In the meantime, we've done a great playlist about how I do small businesses fail. Check this link over here, and this will show you a great little list about how you can be successful in business. So thank you very much. Catch you again soon. When the light fades into darkness And your fears all turn to regrets How do you stand up without falling? How do you see it as a blessing?